Hi, and welcome to Ham Radio Adventures. I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a video on a, a mount for antennas on a stake that you could do for under $20. Now, there's a lot of things out there that you can buy, but they cost like somewhere around $100. And it's a big savings for you guys that are handy. Uh, in that video, I got a lot of great comments back, and I was gonna include that in this video, but there were so many comments that it got too long, and I don't like to do videos over 15 minutes. I'll, I'll link both of those in the description below, both this, the steak one and the one for the comments. Had a lot of great comments, a lot of different ways to do things, and I did it, and it might be easier for you, so you might wanna check that out. Today, what we're gonna look at is different ways that you can install ham sticks uh, and those type of antennas, Wolf River Coil, the impasse. So I'm gonna show you a couple different ways of installing them and a couple ways, like I have, I have a tripod mount that's pretty reasonably priced that might be something that you might want. And I'll put all that in the description also. Oh, and you might wanna stick around to the end because I'm gonna show you how to take make a full-size rotatable dipole out of two 17-foot extendable whips. This is something you guys might actually like and you can get six to 20 on it. So don't forget to stick around. Like I learned from the guys back when I was doing carpentry, there's a little slogan they used to say, there's nothing to it but to do it. So let's do it. Okay guys, uh, if there's anything in this video that you wanna see a more in depth review on, or not a review maybe, but a how to, put it down in the comments and I'll try to make a video on that also. Hopefully people will want to see the same things, but uh, just put it in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of do a quick scan of the table here. Um, all the different parts that I'm gonna show you today. This is kind of cool. These are two different brands. Those are the 17 footers. I have multiple MFJs. Those are ham sticks. I've got three hustlers. I've had those for a really long time. Then I've got this thing, I'll show it to you. This is something my wife bought for me. She saw me looking at it and bought it for Christmas. Um, this is something kind of like that. That's like this, only in a single version. And then there's my various stakes. This is a stake a buddy of mine actually milled for me. I messed up the top. Actually, the top didn't have the right threads. I told him the wrong threads. This is the one that I just did the video on. Now this one's interesting because this one uses a piece of uh, lightweight EMT tubing. That's for a conduit. And at the end down here, I put a, uh, at the end, I put a metal stake in it. I weld it on. You have to be really careful welding this stuff. It needs to be well ventilated. And I usually use a fan to blow the, the smoke away from me. But what I didn't think about, I, I need to do the same thing to the top. So I'll probably do another one that I threaded like the other, like I did for this pole. Okay, then I also have, this is the bigger Wolf River Coil. They make this size and a smaller size. We'll show that today. And then this is the Chameleon Impasse. You guys have seen that before. Now, something else I wanna show you, and I'll probably just take a glamour shot of this later, but uh, this, is a, this is made by Pile. It's a speaker stand. These things are pretty, pretty inexpensive. 19 or 29 i want to say 29 dollars. i'll put a link all this stuff i'll probably i'll try to put a link in the bottom in the description for you guys if you're interested in any of it okay so this i use this a lot um i think when i did my moxin one time this is all we had on it was only like eight feet and it worked great a 20 meter moxin and this this goes up and i guess you could find this the right size throw another one in here and to make it taller, it goes about six, let's see, I'm six two, and that's about where it'll go to about, it goes about six, a little over six feet. Just wanted to show that to you also, because we'll probably use that today. Okay guys, so here's the uh, octopus. It's got uh, 40, 20, 75, and 17 on it. And the nice thing is you're able to rotate it. All right. Now here's the, uh, the Wolf River Coil with a 17 foot. 
going all the way up. It's a uh, pretty wide banded for that thing, so not bad. And then just there's how I have it hooked up, guys. You, you've seen the hookup before. All right, just wanted to show those to you. Oh, um, um, places to live, water and stuff like that. What they would come over here for was the water, man. They'd swarm my, my little pool. Oh, Roger. There'd be hundreds of them out here trying to get a drink of water. Dang it. Pretty strong signals for these guys. Still early for 75 and 80. The band looks good for 18. Same antennas on the octopus. Look at the bands. Look at all the signals. It's pretty good. I'll have to look this guy up. Charlie Echo 2 something. Zulu Yankee Victor. Uh, thanks for the call. Oh, I'm going to fight. I should have got him earlier because he was Juliet, just starting. November. I'm located in Woodbury, Connecticut, West Central Connecticut. Thank you. No, very good, John. Yeah, you got a great signal, uh, good audio. Um, anyway, I'm. Uh, my name's Ken, and uh, I'm in Grand Island, Nebraska. Over. From EJ1U. Yeah, very good, uh, John. And just so you know, I got one of my legs going east and west, east one Nebraska. leg going north and south. So that yeah, G5 guys RV is sitting in an L out here. Over. Interesting. The very guy from Nebraska is only running 100 yeah, watts. I, um, I've got mine set up where they basically fit. So these along antennas the work, guys. Here they they really do. From the street, but that, that's an interesting situation. Very interesting. Thanks for filling me in on that. All right, very good, John. You have a good one, and I hope to catch you on other bands. Maybe even 12 meters. KF7ZYV, and I'm clear. Thanks, Ken. 73. Uh, QRZ from HA1U. Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee. Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee. Uh, kind of tough to copy, but uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, thanks for the call. This is HA1U. My name is John. Juliet Oscar November. I'm in Woodbury, Connecticut, West Central Connecticut. Back to you. Hi, John. Yeah, the name here is Chuck. I'm running 10 watts on a uh, rotatable dipole made with two ham sticks about 12 feet, and I was surprised I actually got you there. Well, very good enough for 10 watts, Chuck. Uh, I'm going to say the report's 3x4. Three 3x4, by four. Three by four, um, not quite 100% readable, but pretty close. And um, I'm running... I'm running a lot more. Uh, Flex 6400M, Elecraft KPA 1500. I'm using 1100 watts into a double link G5 RV. Back to you. Okay, I'm running a uh, IC705. Like I said, on a, I'm just doing a video here. You're a S9 here. Uh, totally couple. Great, great audio, everything there. And I was just trying to see if I could actually make a contact with this. Uh, it's, a, it's two ham sticks made into a dipole and about 12 feet. Okay, Chuck, I missed the first part, was able to hear the middle part of your transmission, and then lost you at the end. I think you said something about some ham sticks. Yeah, I'm using two ham sticks as a dipole, rotatable, 10 feet in the air, and 10 watts. I'll, I'll let you go because I know it's a, a tough copy for you there, but I appreciate you coming back. Okay, Chuck, 100% copy on that transmission. 100% copy on that transmission. Well done with your setup. Great job. KK6 USY from AJ1U. Great to work with you for the first time. 73. 73. URZ from Alpha Juliet 1 Uniform. Look at the, uh, the, the uh, scope yeah, there. Signals everywhere. And this is just uh, off of the, uh, I keep a paper log, but, uh, the uh, dipoles uh, made from uh, uh, the uh, hamsticks. Yeah, so doing pretty good. Uh, I think on the from 20 and uh, higher, I think it, they're probably not too bad. I've done actually pretty good on 40 also. Today at uh, 14, uh, 245, there was a fellow from uh, uh, Brunei 
who had an incredible signal, and I tried to get in, and everybody pushed him, you know, a kilowatt plus just walked all over me. I gave up after an hour over. Okay, guys, so this is going to be the Hustler. There's the pole that I built. You can buy these. They sell them. They come in a couple links, and it just goes all the way up. And this is where the magic happens right here. And you get three brackets, like I showed you guys off the bracket there. And I'll show you guys the uh, setup. I'll set up the uh, 705 and just do a scan of the band for you. Not super wide, but it works. All right, let me get that set up for you. All right, let's start here um, for on the 14. We'll just make it an even number there. SWR, reset. So that's 1.5, and it actually goes a little bit lower also on 20. So 20 is not too bad. It's fairly wide on 20. And anything in there, if you have an onboard tuner, it could clear all that up for you. So let's go back. Let's, uh, let's do 40. That's the other one we have on here. So menu. Okay. Reset it. Now, it, it's really good right here at, at 240. Uh, that's where I have it set for, it looks like. And everything to there is actually off of below 1.5. Let's go down, let's see, it's closer to the top, so let's go up 10 and just see what it does. So we're already below on the, on the lower side. And then it's finally at uh, 270, it's a little above 1.5, so not bad. So let's go to, now this is the band that's not very wide. This is 80, 75, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's not quite as good, but in fact, you already see it, but uh, let me click it for you. Right there, it's finally in. And that's, it's just a couple from uh, 840, a little below and a little above. It's below 1 point, it's at 1.5, so, but uh, up to up to here 3.0 so you could tune that with a tuner on board all right that just gives you an idea like I said it's not really wide banded but it works I know a guy that does what well, there's a guy on the um, the poda uh, website for uh, Facebook he has a Dodge pickup he has this on he puts this on when he gets there and sets in his car if it's 100 degrees outside he just sets in with the air conditioning on and does poda so it works he just switches from band to band now you guys that have been doing ham radio for a long time and have dealt with like big antennas like big yaggies and stuff you'll know that a lot of times at the ends if you have a full-size 20 meter uh yaggy or dipole that goes out i mean it's, it's a long ways out there guys and these these um these extendable whips are not super super strong especially if you buy the cheap ones from alley express or something like that um I'm going to show you guys, and you guys that have been doing this a long time probably know the trick, but there's a way to keep those nice and straight, or almost straight anyhow, and I'm going to show you that also. Uh, that's what we're getting ready to do right now, so let's check this out. Pretty easy fix, guys. Okay, guys, so here is the, the two 17-footers set up on the MFJ bracket, and I want to, I'm going to push each side out a little at a time so I keep the weight even. A lot of weight with these things. Make sure you use something nice and sturdy like the MFJ. So let me get this one out a little ways. And you're going to see I just want to get that one to there because you can see it's already going down. That one's not going to go down as far. So we'll put this one out probably all the way. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but this one's on the ground, okay, already. And these are pretty pretty decent 17-footers. They're not the cheap ones off of AliExpress. That I've seen those before, and they're even worse. But it's a, it's a long feet. You're, you're talking 17 feet each way, so you're talking 34 feet here, max. So let me show you how I'm going to fix this. You probably, you guys that have been doing this stuff before, uh, antennas with the Aggie stuff. You probably know what I'm going to do, but let me set it up and then I'll show it to you. Okay, guys. Now, this is the MFJ on this side. This is the, M the uh, 
chameleon. And as you see, the chameleon is actually a little bit better for this because of the way it, the end the end of the chameleon is a little thicker than the end of the MFJ. See how it's kind of hanging down? But we did get most of it up. And for the for the MFJ, I could go out farther, probably just one more um, section, and that would probably make it better. All right, guys. So probably what I'll do one of these times is actually put this up. I'll put this up on my on my flagpole mast, which is 30 feet or 25 feet, and then a couple feet off the ground. So 30. Let's just say it's 32 feet, and uh, no, 27 feet probably. I think it's 25 feet, and then I get about two feet off the ground in the back of my truck. I'll do a poto with it one day and I'll find out. I think I can run a couple hundred watts through this maybe. I don't know. Uh, it should take 200 watts easy. And maybe I'll take an amp with me. Here's the uh, the end. I, mean, I printed these out. You don't have to print them. You can make it out of cutting board or any, any kind of plastic. And then I tied paracord to here and then ran the paracord up. And I just use a T up here to make this work. And ran it through and then down to the other side over there now I did also tape all the joints because it wanted to uh, go inside go in a little bit so that was kind of a pain but hey if this thing works really good at say like 30 feet or 25 feet who cares all right okay so here's the uh, the MFJ bracket and I'll have this in the description too nice and heavy duty it's almost like a quarter inch thick Maybe just a hair under 316s or something like that. But uh, it does really well. So I look, sorry for the glare there. And you have your coax in here. Okay, I hope this uh, video was helpful to you guys. Uh, especially the new hams that maybe have not seen some of these type of antennas. And I have to say that all the antennas that I showed, everything I showed today was my own stuff. I bought with my own money. So there's no manufacturers in the background here at all. Now those those ham sticks, if you're looking for like maybe a mobile rig, those ham sticks work pretty good. You just you have to stop and change them if you want to change bands. That's all. So pretty good deals. They work pretty good. Um, well, I think you guys saw that they work actually pretty good for for what they are. So if you're new here, go ahead hit that subscribe button hit the bell, hit the all, that way you get all my future videos. And while you're at it, go ahead, everybody, hit that like. This is Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures 73 all. Be safe and hope to catch you on the airwaves. And maybe I'll catch you with some of these antennas we showed today. Who knows? 73.